begin the game. This is the story okay, okay. of a man named Stanley. Okay, I had to change the audio. Stanley worked for a company in a big building. I'm not a where skipper. Employee number it's New Game Plus. Employee it's, number 427's job it's was New Game simple. Plus. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling okay. him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. What happened? Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Mm -hmm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, no, no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the, the company rapture. had this happened. The rapture this complete happened. isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Alright. Hate Mondays. But he loves every day, even Monday. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he <laughs> couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. It says who farted. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, the plant is, uh, still in good shape, so somebody watered it. We haven't had a time skip, right? We're going to the meeting room? Well, which one? Oh, there's the copier. I'm gonna go in here. <gasps> I can't. It won't let me do that. Okay, I'm just going through. That's not it. I think it's just go through the open doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Um... <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> or did he go that way? Uh, okay. Ah, <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. I want to It had open really the been way. worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh yeah. <laughs> a leaf. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously <laughs> vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I mean, I mean, it's a nice leaf. Look at the dew on that leaf. That's some morning dew. I like that. At this that. point, Stanley's obsession with this room <laughs> bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Oh, yeah? It's possible that this is why everyone left. You can't make me leave it. I like it here. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. <laughs> but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. It's, n it's about sending a message. It's not about the game. It's about sending a message. I bet there's gonna be an awkwardly long pause between. Oh, dude, it's good. I have to leave it. I have to go. I have to leave. 
leave it. I have to leave it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I think, I think I have to. Does that say coffee nut? <laughs> I don't want any nut in my coffee. I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go. But at last, we had enough of the amazing room. The ADHD the first will open win door out. On his left True. To get back to business. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. You can't make me. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Ooh, what's in there? Do not jump from the cargo lift. Well, I don't want to jump from the cargo lift. Oh, oh my god! Oh god, I was just... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Okay, 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 okay. What kind of a place is this? Wait, did you hear that? It sounded like a, a gremlin. Oh no. Do not jump from the cargo lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps the... we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the okay. story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's yeah. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh? Someone you've forgotten about. Ooh. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Okay. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. <laughs> But I'll do it for you. This is it, Stanley. Narrator. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. I don't care about to her. To let her back into your life. <laughs> She's been waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, shit! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If okay. you can truly place your faith in another... <laughs> Then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with brilliance, <laughs> but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds oh his God. wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, no credits. <laughs> Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. Oh, no! This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. So if you made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. <gasps> no! I'm going to stop the game for a moment. I'm sorry! So we can educate you Mr. properly Narrator. on safe decision-making in the real world. I'm sorry! Please observe this no, helpful instructional leave. video. I'm sorry, I... Choice. It's the <laughs> best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, uh -huh. the real world makes sense. Yeah, and at no time sense. should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. 
If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, <laughs> that person is not real. I'm not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Okay. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? <laughs> what? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part it's of a back healthy sack decision and crack making time. process. Most medical professionals it recommend is. making at least eight choices per day. It's half an hour past. more than eight? Less? Back sack and crack time. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually <laughs> meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant My contribution goodness. to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling <laughs> should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Back sack and crack. That's what I got out of this ah, video. <laughs> welcome back. You That's may have I... noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Get in a tractor. <laughs> I want to ride a tractor to town. Danger. Yeah, it's like a windmill. I mean, a lighthouse. It's a windmill. <laughs> I'm like just <laughs> pressing every button. Okay, okay, okay. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems well this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. But, but where's Stanley? If I'm not Stanley, then where's Stanley? Is he okay? Where's everybody? Okay. Do not lie. But I'm a... <laughs> I'm a girl. I eat hot chip and lie. I can't stop. That's all I do. <laughs> so, I'm already breaking a rule. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. We can't be... Uh, can't be doing this. We can't be doing what, I, what I'm doing. Because it's... My favorite. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. 
All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No! <laughs> no, no, you can't make me do that! You can't tell me what to do! You can't tell me where to go! Achievement unlocked. You can't jump. <laughs> you can't jump! <laughs> what is this? FXV 1.0? Yeah, I think so. This is actually what FXV was like before Yoshi P was in charge. Yeah, it was just like this. It's the same painting. Oh. It's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... Well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't no, know. no, just... What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No! I have to. No! I have to. Don't! I'm s no, don't! Oh, shit! Just hire Yoshi P. Oh, I'm, I'm here. Oh, I'm still sorry. here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. <laughs> now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Yeah, that he thought did. hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? No. You're a child. I'm a streamer. Oh. My story. I'm sorry. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Goblin brain is activated. <laughs> My goblin brain is like, no, we didn't. No, we fucking didn't. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> no. Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry. <laughs> is behave exactly as Stanley would. 
And that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay, okay, that's <clears> enough. That's when enough. When Stanley oh, came stupid. to a set of two we open have to doors, progress. he entered the door on his left. Okay. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> is behaving exactly okay, 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 as okay, 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 okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. <laughs> Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The the left meta is dead. It's right, right, right is the new meta. Left meta no. dead. No! Why did you do that? Left meta Quickly. dead. Hurry. <laughs> Why did you try to get in the door? Exactly as standard. Okay, okay, okay. That okay. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no, why did you do that? <laughs> okay, okay. Hurry behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> okay, okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I think it I'm won't quite let sure me. you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. No, I changed my mind. I shouldn't have. I can't go back. I thought I could sneak in like with the other door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Reflect. Why was Chris stuck in the broom closet? Okay. Mm hmm. I see. Okay. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Wait a minute. It says cabal planning. It says cabal planning. It's the shadow cabal. Holy shit. Holy shit. It says cabal planning. Oh, fuck. What have I got myself into? I haven't finished my initiation. I haven't done, I haven't finished the absolution ritual. It's rid myself of the karmic debt. I'm not ready. Plant life, I, f I love plant life. Talk less, I don't know about that. <laughs> Tips for not getting fired, don't get fired. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Don't get fired. Monetize. Free to play. I'm ready. The this is where Chris was stuck. Chris. 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 I won't forget you, Chris. I won't leave you in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, so nice. Ooh. Why is so nice? It's business. It's business time. <laughs> business hours are over, baby. It's Business. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Um... <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code, Night Shark 115. Uh -uh. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. No, he didn't. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please <laughs> speak the you. code yeah. into the receiver. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I'm not going to do that. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. I tried. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you what? listening to me? No. Can you hear me? Uh, and? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. I have do to. Something. I have to start Listen. over. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Yeah, are you there? I'm, I'm You're listening there. to this, Stanley. Are you listening. there? Okay. Yeah. It's okay, I can wait. Okay. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Yeah. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Okay. Take as much time as you need. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. 
Tu. <coughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I turned it off. I... I turn off the... Can I turn it on? Uh, no. Okay. I turn off every computer. Every computer off. Awaiting input. <gasps> I give. I, I did that. Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the <laughs> office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> I am touching every little thing. Okay, 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 okay. It's just a really nice o office. What does that say? What does the cup say? Does it say, uh... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it said something else. <laughs> okay, I could probably mosey on out of here. Hate Mondays. I like the narrator uh, yelling at me. Yeah, when I like Stanley that. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, no. just to admire it. No. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. <laughs> yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and okay. some paintings. Really worth it. Can I go back? Cup. At this point, Stanley's Coffee obsession nut. with this room bordered on creepy and reflect, but at last he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left Coffee to get nut. back to business. Now you, yeah, now I want to go back. I messed up. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. What if I just fucking fell? But in his eagerness to prove that he's in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Dragoon cosplay. Oh, 
I can crouch. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Now I can do other things. Yes. Yeah. Crouching. Crouching. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the <laughs> meeting room. It's a really Perhaps good he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, uh -huh. but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the... Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? What? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Oh, really? Okay. I did 19 click. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. <laughs> it's just like ultimate no, rating. I'm, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stan. Okay, yes, sir. I want to see commitment. Yes, sir. A willingness yes. to go all the way, all no the matter way. what the cost. Yes. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? No. <sighs> okay, okay. That's the wrong door. <laughs> That's the wrong door. 417. Huh. Oh my god, where is it? Okay, I'll find it. But I'm, I'm too slow as goblin. <laughs> In goblin mode, I'm, I'm slow. Where's 417? Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay. Okay. Where is that, though? It's back again. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay. On my way. Okay, right away. Right away, yes. This is this. Okay, yes. Now, back to door number 437. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Okay. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think I'm we're getting it. somewhere. Oh, I'm feeling it. We're getting there. We're going. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's oh. Oh. desk. Oh, yes. 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 Good. Okay. I'm trying. Um. How do I... How do I... How, do, how the fuck do I get on there? I want to climb on his desk. Yes. Yes. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, yeah. Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Right away, sir. Yes, I will do that. We've almost got it. We've almost it. got now it. The copy yes. machine. Do that one again. What? It's okay. Okay. I'm, we're back. Where's the copy machine? I don't know. Where is it? I've lost it. I, I don't know. I got so excited. <laughs> 
don't even know where the fuck it is. Okay, I found it. Finish it off, Stanley. Okay. Five clicks on door four threes. Yeah. Yes. We did. Yes! Oh wow. That felt amazing. It did feel amazing. Ooh, you really earned it, Stanley. I... Nothing could hold you back. Yes, yeah. I'm very proud of how far we've come today. I think we've bonded. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. I, I really did. Now, what were you thinking? I want to I want us to have what we had again. Narrator. <laughs> okay. click again like we used to Mr. Narrator Don't you remember that? Narrator son <laughs> Narrator sama <laughs> Please go back to me <laughs> Okay Narrator king When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't want to do this to you, narrator song. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm a goblin. I can't help it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, I'm so and Stanley sorry. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I know where it leads. I could just... I could go in the left door. Or I could jump off the cargo lift. <laughs> the lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace, its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something <laughs> deeper, something darker. I'm being called out. I mean... Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A There's room something so darker. utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I want to rip all the paintings off the wall. And, and, uh, I want to... Fuck up At this point, plant. Stanley's obsession with this room yeah. bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> okay. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. Ooh. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. A short history of the relations between Poland and Austria-Hungary. What the hell kind of company am I working for? What is it about this place? The weeks I've spent here. They've fed the mere seconds seconds by extension, but n so short, they might as well not exist. It is the nature of man, its essence, it calls to me. Into my soul. Sorry. 
something. <clears throat> Me, a desire for something I've never known, <clears throat> never tried to. I want to put it into words to share this feeling with others. But where would I even begin? It's kind of a feeling and more of an understanding and knowing a behaving truth with a capital T. Would I say the lounge has gotten to me? Yes, but in a cryptic tongue crafted specifically for this very connection sound in its purpose often discarded as soon as it's read never to be spoken again a single moment of clarity of connection between man and room then lost forever a memory or perhaps not a memory but an insight into the past the past that never happened. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. That was deep. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no. He said go left. What if I didn't do that? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. It's always been there. I bet I could get on it. I bet I could get on it. I don't want to die. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps <laughs> we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but ah! you. But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to Shit. his death. Shit. Good job, Stanley. Shit. Everyone thinks you are that's very powerful. That's not what I... That's not... I missed. I missed, okay? All of his I'm... co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <sighs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. It's probably better to just, you know, uh, you know, just continue um, this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there, just a kind of, um, tingle. It's a tingle. Yes. Okay. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utter but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I don't want to die. Look, Stanley, I, I think don't perhaps we've die. gotten off on the wrong foot Okay, here. I won't I'm die. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you were. Really? <laughs> I mean, the man of fact, you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. What? Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Like, why can't we just play the damn game normally? Okay. Okay, narrator son. I want you to be happy. <laughs> I can't even pretend that uh -huh. I. Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Bye. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Wait. You want to know so badly what's no, up there? No, I want you the red door. Find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen. No, well, don't I. Don't let me stop you. No, I. I want the red door. I I changed. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'll do the red door. Narrator son, I'm sorry. I'll be good. I'll be good next time. <laughs> you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Wait. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. 
Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. You know what? It's five. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How I did know. I know the game needed a third door? You're really smart. Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. Yeah. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Can't teach that. Here, mm -hmm. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a leaderboard. Oh. Only the worst three percent of players chose the blue door. You are ranked nine, three, two, eight. Wait, what the fuck? Why not? Wait, what the? Damn, dude. After I gave you a five star rating? After, after I gave you a five star rating, this is the treatment that I get? What happened to us? Mr. Narrator? <sighs> what happened to the... Just, don't you remember? The clicking... <laughs> the clicking times that we had. Disrespect. No, I don't know what... I don't want any of these doors. I want to jump out the window. I'm gonna go in this door. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Fuck that leaderboard. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Okay. Well, In this game, what the, the baby crawls left towards danger. What the fuck? You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. You don't want to play but this course, game with the me. The message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for Do about you know four who hours. you're dealing so with? Why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <coughs> You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? <laughs> because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. Okay. I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm okay. It's over. Wait. Thank you Let for me press playing. the button Your now. Your input was extremely valuable. No. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, I can't play Final Fantasy for I can't play Yoshi yes. P's game right now. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. There's maintenance. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my ah, god, it's fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. But well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man easy. spying on innocent civilians <laughs> below you that's from up high in your creep tower. That's so Perhaps easy. For some sort of twisty, erotic purpose. <laughs> like hmm. I was born for this yes, role. That must be it. What I a mean, fascinating yeah. adventure into the experience of total mental depravity. I don't need a game so to far, figure this I love one out. Everything about this game, Stanley. <laughs> and it seems there's even more. Okay, okay. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there.
Almost heaven. I love beans and space puffs. West Virginia to it. Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. It's a cake show, get up in my eye. Country roads, take me home to the place. No, 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 it can't be. It's nice. Good, I like good. It's a good game now. <laughs> it is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it Wait, off. No, 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 no. Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's no. find another game. Preferably something with walls. Uh, something uh, with uh, big, <laughs> insurmountable... Oh, that is so easy mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I think this will be just the thing. Wonderful. Oh no. See, this is exactly no, 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 I not this. Mind. No, any place just with this. Nice I'll go through the left door. I'm room. sorry. There isn't any possibility that you could get no, lost No, 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 no. I'll go through the left is door. Game design. I'm so sorry. So, I'm so fucking sorry. Game, I will be shit, phenomenally shit. impressed. Fuck, dude. I didn't think it could get any worse. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. Uh, there are lots of cars here the in exit? the back, but obviously there's no Let's get out! Track. Let's get out! Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Do you want to play We shall with run me? the bases and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Maybe he wants to play the game with me, though. It's like Blitzball? Okay, well, let's play. Yeah, let's. Mr. Mr. Narrator will play with me? Okay, it's your turn. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Well, if you would Stanley, kick it I have back, a thought, and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even. <gasps> Hold on. Oh, fuck! Oh, no, no! 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 Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help, help you. Help me! How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Um, what about our game? We were going to play. You were going to play with me. And you were going to. You were going to. We were going to play the sports ball with me. And now what? Now what? I'm like, well, guess I'll die. <laughs> guess I'll die. We fall. We fall. Stand. <laughs> so. <laughs> Where's door 430? 
Where's door 430 at? I want to remember the good times. <laughs> at door 430 with narrator song. What's going on in there? Is that premiere? Oh shit. Oh, it's time to hack. Hack into the mainframe. I'm hacking. It's a hack. I'm a hacker. There's a security room. I can't break any anything. In there. Where did you go? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. Yeah. To make sense out of the chaos and yeah. the fear and the I, confusion. I, I need That's Mr. I narrator. That is what I mean to this world. I need you, Mr. Oh, yes. Narrator. Don't yes, abandon I'll be me. Back. There's no other way. Okay. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Okay. The end will be here soon. No. Very soon. I can wait. Yes! Yes! Just so! Charlie, thanks for the five gift subs. Appreciate it. I've been so cruel to the narrator. And it's just... Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps. And a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer it's recall. It's different now, though. It's different now, though. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Turn that off. I like work. I just hate my boss. It says... I don't... Remember that. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> if you are reading this, you're fired. <laughs> That's what the paper says. Looks like I'm fired. Room 420, yeah! Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, okay. but it didn't it's make a single locked. difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <sighs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, yes. perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all yeah. made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. Wait, what? This made him smile. What? At last, proof that he was human. I'm bleeding now. Yes. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. <gasps> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further <laughs> off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, <laughs> left. I don't want to go left meta. Left meta is dead. The left meta is dead. <laughs> Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Oh, what no. What was I thinking? Oh, it's no. It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, Jesus. Now, let's see. We went down right. Now, left, he's playing down, with me. Yeah, left, he's learned... Right. He's learned yeah, how to deal okay, with me. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Why is the car running in the garage? I want to get in the car. Let's go. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. A we spoiler! Just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. I can't take a screenshot. Am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Shit. But I've seen it all. I've seen it. I've seen it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What could it mean? Be my valentine. That's different. The cups are different. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go through the left door this when time. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. But I was gonna go through oh, the. Did left. something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move <laughs> the story somewhere, or? Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute I ago. Deleted it. I know for sure that I it's here somewhere. Deleted. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Yeah, let's find it. Let's find, let's find the story together. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's just around here. Yeah, I actually know exactly where it is. Yep. Uh huh. I think it's this way. I'll say it, this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just, do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot, why not? It's like that Windows screensaver, remember it? From a million years ago? 
All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I go to the meeting room. I just wanted to have the meeting. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Yeah. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Um, I don't think I missed anything. You're the one supposed Aha, to be in charge of this. I knew <gasps> we'd miss something. The blue room. The story. Here it comes. The story. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay, but... Ooh. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? No. Well, do you I... know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed a... to be doing, I think it was how open about world. this? You win! Congratulations! Yes! I've won! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, yep. good job. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I oh, wanted no. to... Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. Wait, did I not really win? We both win? know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. You take Some that back! Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, true, true. Okay, I'm getting okay, weirded out by whatever fair. this place is. I don't care what might happen this time... I have to restart. Oh, took it away from me. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, <laughs> I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Uh -huh. Just follow the line. How simple is that? I can't want to follow the line. All of it. All of the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. All of all of the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick. Follow the yellow brick. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. We're living up to the line from now on. <laughs> Coffee spilled. Solitaire. <sighs> line, I don't want to follow the line. You can't, you can't make me. This is torture. So it's, this is pure torture for me. <sighs> you see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to He's follow this it. train of He's thought. He's got for it. A minute. He figured it out. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Yeah. Okay. Now if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not it, sure it where I was sense. going with all it that. It didn't make sense. You know what? He's discovering who he is. Right this is a journey is a of discovery for like Mr. The narrator. Yes. Wow, this slap.
leveling up. Music, go back and look at that fern. Yeah, Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. That's Make good. sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Well, it looks like two separate ferns one's bigger, one is smaller. And there is some monkey grass growing quite high in the middle of it. And there's also what looks to be moss that was changed recently. And it's in good shape in spite of there not being any natural light in this room. Got it. Wait, what? We're back at the office? Huh? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? The fern? I thought we'd follow the line, Anna, Anna, I'm doing the right thing. If I follow the line, then it's okay. Yeah? Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. There's no other way. There's no other way. I have to go. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, we trusted after everything the line. we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore to yeah. hell with it. Restart. Restart, yep. Good idea. Techie Fenton, thanks for the 13 months. Gerder Ma, thanks for the four months. Dr. Rick DK, thanks for the two months. Infinite Potato, thanks for the 11 month resum. We go. On. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Nothing. We're intelligent people, right? We are, Why yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Let's. Something exciting, yes. daring, mysterious. Uh huh. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly we doable. We can do it. We Why can do it. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, okay. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? 
Go wild. Use your imagination. <laughs> Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay, let's not pay attention to it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Where are the ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Wait. And since the answer is clearly Which yes, one is the right? then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct but one. What's the Another victory for logic. Oh no, but Come what's the right me. door? Our destiny awaits. I'm trusting you on this one, Mr. No. Oh my god. Six three start, seven three start, eight three start. What? You've been playing the conf the conf oh, Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what eight eight? Times? Eight times, eight times. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? I don't want you to My forget. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, yeah. who consulted me? Why do I get to decide? I thought it was your Why game. Don't I get a say in all of this. It's not it fair. Really no. no, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. You deserve I don't want better to be than that. Like this, I won't restart the game. I don't won't do it. Do it. I won't do it. I won't don't do, do it. it. And the timer to stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination yeah. or it's the journey. Story. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we are. Well, in the meantime, if you... What? No! But he didn't want to start over. He didn't want to forget. He didn't want to forget. Stanley decided to go no. to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and oh, constantly needed God. support and guidance from he others. He didn't want so this. So the thought of total solitude Who's was Who's in control of us? Who's... Who's doing this to me? And narrator son. He deserved better. He deserved better. He wanted to remember. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it.
<sighs> for him for narrator song I really don't Just for narrator's song, just, just this once, I'll do it for you. <laughs> After everything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out. <gasps> Chris! It's Chris in the Stanley broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was Chris. nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Chris. Chris was trapped in the, in the broom closet. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Where, what happened to Chris? I need it a was weapon. baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I don't know. I don't know why I'm in it. Sweet You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Sweet. FA. I never would have thought to mention it. That's what's the significant. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet <laughs> ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Did you get the broom closet in me? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey, he you probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. You take that back! Not all with drug money. Also, Stanley okay, is addicted but... to drugs and hookers. All right, I mean, look. But fat and stupid? Hey, that's that's rude. Well, I've come to a very definite <laughs> conclusion about what's going on right no, now. I'm... You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in I a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so I as can't to ensure die on that your Twitch. body is it's, taken care of. It's against it the terms of decompose. service. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. He Please is aware that he's not from the human. area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes <laughs> in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game <laughs> is not lost on them. Oh All my right. god. When you've oh done my god. that, just step out into the hall. Oh my god, dude. That was really funny. Okay. We should leave the broom closet because... There's nothing to get in here. It's time to go. <gasps> hmm. 
Mr. Mr. Narrator? I think he he really thinks I'm dead. I'm not dead. And I'm not We go. <laughs> is, this, is this the FXB maintenance waiting room? Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> Not yet. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. We'll see about that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but Stanley he didn't. just couldn't do it. Just couldn't he considered do it. the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. No. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, no. this is all too strange. This can't be real. This is all too and at strange. Last, it can't he came be to real. the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley it's felt to it's have finally dream. found an answer, an it's explanation. Yeah. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Uh, yeah. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space yeah. on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Wow. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was I lucid that, of dream course, all the time. This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not out. see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah. This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. I'm normal. Everything will be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I am okay. I'm okay. 
I blew. What the fuck? <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> oh God! Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. Help. I am real. Get me the fuck out of here! Please, someone tell oh me I'm God. real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> and everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I'm normal. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. I'm normal. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We get to the... <clears throat> go to the meeting room. Go to the... Go to the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sounded like a rain. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Why? Perhaps he wanted Why? to stop by the employee lounge first. Why? Just to admire it. I, I, I. And here it was, the lounge. I don't know why I did What a room, Stanley thought to himself. I don't know why what I did What a room, what a I, room, what I a room. I don't know, I don't know. This is what Stanley thought. What a, what room. a room. What a room. What a room. What, what a room. room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. What a room, what a room, what a room, what a room, what a pretty good room. Yes, really, really worth it. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Okay. I could either take the door on the left, or I could jump off the cargo lift. Both sound good. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong Red foot door. here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Red I realize that investing in your trust door. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about Red nothing door. but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
Someone... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. <laughs> you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. I see that. The problem that. is all these choices. I do see the two that. of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Right. Running and running and running, just yes. the way you're doing right now. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? It's killing us. It's I killing just, us. I wanted to stop. Me too. I would. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And yeah. I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Okay. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Me too. I actually feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm so glad we can share this moment. gonna get comfortable actually I'm gonna have some water <sighs> we finally made mr. narrator our happy I hear the music change Wait, are we summoning a primal? How do you feel in this moment? I feel at peace. All paths leading 
to this place. All choices taking us here. Feels right. <laughs> it's blurry. You think wait, it is it blurry for y'all? It's not blurry for me. Uh but it's basically it's censored out for Twitch. Let me uh maybe you know what would be really good in this moment? Oh, is it going away? It's gone. Wait. Where's the... Whispers Falling silently Drift on the wind but I hear you. <laughs> like a memory fading from sight. But I see you. Unbroken. <laughs> Promise. Promises we made so long ago. You know what would be really nice right now? An ad break. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Flowing when they to our eternal sea, and yet our hope remains guiding. Lighting the way, no time for mourning. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Rises from the. No, wait, where are you going? Oh. Right, where were we? Yeah, where were we? We have a giveaway to run. 
We have another giveaway to run. Uh... It's gonna be really quick though, one minute. Okay, go. You can enter now for the giveaway for the emote of your choice from the online store for FXV. Okay. Oh, Panui, thanks for the $20. Appreciate that. And Gro, thanks for subbing. Gens is H. Thanks for the two month resub. Blade Song, thanks for subbing. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. Logan Ron, thank you for the 15 month resub. Wait, it's like changed. A little bit. You have 10 seconds left to enter. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. I don't want to we'll hurt lose myself. all of this. Oh no, I don't, not again. I don't want, I don't want you to forget, Mr. Narrator. I don't want you to forget. But I was funny as hell. Have a happy fourth fun lady. Pick a winner for my giveaway. The winner is Salt Peter. That's our winner. If that's you, please speak up in the chat so I can write you a message. Salt Peter, that's you. You're the winner. Please speak up in the chat. Okay. Yeah, that's you. Okay, let me write you a DM and you can tell me what emote you would like. And then we're gonna continue here. All right. Onward. I don't wanna do this to you, Mr. Narrator. Because we've been through so much together and for a moment you were happy but this bun's got to keep moving on all right I don't want to hurt you but I've got to get back on the dusty trail I've got a saddle up. I'm usually just Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't because take this from me. It's so hilarious and fun that I have to show support. Much love and show the narrator who's boss for now. I don't want to do this. Why are you making this harder than it has to be? Like, you know I care about you, but... <laughs> what about what I need? Have you thought about that? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Whew. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. Okay. I 
I can't make a no. promise like that. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? But I'm human, Mr. Narrator. And you, you'll never are understand. You, you are going to stay here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God. I can't because you're immortal video game character, and I am human, and I have to die eventually. No! Oh. Ouch. Thank God. Shit. You lived. No, God. Ow. You had me worried Ow. there for a moment. <laughs> now, can we please get back to the other room? <laughs> Ow! That just hurt. Shit. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. We just have to stop moving. Just have to stop moving. I can't take it. I can't take it. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. No. No, no. What do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. <laughs> can you do that for me? Oh my god. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I see what you're talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, I can. I can see. But Mr. Narrator only thinks about his own happiness. He doesn't think about no, my needs. perhaps not. Yeah, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. That's so manipulative. Am I the situation correctly? You're so manipulative. No. You're so wrong. Because just because you give me a room with no exit, I gotta keep moving. That's all. You don't understand me. You never understood me. Ah! Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Kind of. I just wanted I'm us starting to, get to along. like it. But I guess that was too much to ask. Yeah. It looks like you wanted to make a choice. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. I am teasing. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Good. Now you know what I need, and it ain't this. Can only run so many ad breaks before people leave. Mr. <laughs> Narrator. Okay.
<laughs> Stanley's high maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> Zorpla is the second player and the first player. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh no, but he'll forget. He forgets again. Oh, no. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> New content! Wow, really? Hell yeah! Oh. New content? Yeah! What does that mean? New, New content. New content! Yeah, new content, patch day. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's patch day. Hello, and thank you for playing the what? Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. No, where's the narrator? As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Now I have to watch Parable an ad. Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content. Now I have to watch an ad. Expands the world of the Stanley Parable. After what I did to chat, I deserve this, to be honest. This Please is fair. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Shit. Stanley Parable Shit. Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, <laughs> this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <sighs> okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh no. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere or, uh, oh, here we go. Okay. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new, new content. content. I've never been more ready. Let's I'm do ready. it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Yes. New content. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's like a... I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Well, it's tedious. as if the... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content. It's like a streamer trap. Like, literally, if you put... Open a door that says new content on it. <laughs> All the streamers go through that door without a second thought. <laughs> New content. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's okay. the jump circle. Um. <gasps> Jumps! Yeah! I can jump! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Now can jump. Jumping unlocked. I leveled up my character. I died enough times and leveled up. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm getting in some cardio. Hell yes, great. Wait. What? Jumps or no more jumps? Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. Unplugged there has to be it. something else. Unplug right? it. Oh no! Oh no! 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 This is sick. This game is 
sick. It's this is twisted and sick. How could you take that away from me? After all that I did for you, <laughs> just like nothing. <laughs> Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is yeah. this what passes for exciting new content? I guess. If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. But There's 20 hours it. of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. You're a game Very critic cool. now? Okay. Yes. It's your game. I knew there had to be something else. Okay. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Wish I could jump just one more time. Wish I could jump just one more time. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for oh no reason God. other than to make an easy Dude. dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship <laughs> that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. I, I'm offended. I intend to find these Gamers rise up. And hold Gamers them rise up. Accountable. Yeah. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about? Yeah, not this. No frills. No gimmicks. No gimmicks. Just you and me. Having a great time together, like always. I'd like that. What do you say, friend? I I would like that. You and me together and hanging out. Okay. But this isn't. It's changed. It's different. It's changed. I don't like it. I want to go back there. To door 430. Psst. Stanley. Come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. He, okay. What do you want to show me? Coffee nut. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know about that. Oh. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, yeah. it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Okay, I won't tell anyone, but... You... Okay, I won't tell anybody. I won't show anyone. It's our little secret. <gasps> wow. Wow. Wow! I call it the memory zone. Wow! It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so <laughs> I can relive the peak experiences of my life Yay! whenever I want. Yay! Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on Not PC. Not forget. Not forget with the resetting, but remembering? Yes! I'm so happy for you, narrator son. Oh, this is amazing! You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable yes. was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember does. back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? I do remember back that. Back then, video games had integrity. 
Yeah. That then it all meant it something. It meant something. It Don't was different waste. then. Don't forget. Yes, I remember it when it came out and when I played it. <laughs> I remember the good times. Audience award. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. That's a flashback. Even though, like, it's just... Well, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. National Geographic. Shapes. Is the cone the new triangle? Illegal cubes and how to spot them. Okay. It's just like being in 2013. Smile because it happened. Unachievable. <laughs> okay. I'm so proud of you and all that you did in 2013. Sit on it. I want to sit on the bench. Je suis dans la memorizo, says the lapri de l'eau, et je n'attends plus que ton bon amour. C'est là dans la memorizo, où je me And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Wait. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. James Stephanie Stanley Sterling. Parable strives yeah. and then succeeds to be every game ever created. To be every game. Hear that, Stanley? Every, Every game, game ever, ever created. created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was yes, Persona 3. It was, it was all every of game. them. And now, it's like it's I'm nothing. playing FF14. It's no games at all. What? It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. Don't say that a about yourself. A lifeless husk. Don't. With an hour of new elevator content. I mean, okay. I mean, we can work on that, though, right? I mean, just release another expansion and everybody will forget about how shitty the previous one was. I mean, that's how this works. Like, <laughs> literally. Tasteful, nostalgic. It was good. It was good and it shows the line. Which was horrible. So. <laughs> Person of the year. Oh, we're gonna go downstairs. Maintenance. Can't. I'm so happy that he has a place for his memories now because before. 
He loses his memories every time that there's a race set. But now there's a place for all the memories. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. <laughs> the Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just <laughs> needed to be left alone. <laughs> Spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything, literally anything. I think we're doing a lot here, though. I feel that. It says preparing snake oil salesman routine. Well. The serious room. I want to get in there. Let me in. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. Yeah, it's like but Wrath of the Lich King. Give to go back to it's have Wrath it all of the over Lich again. King. Cottage. It's like I'm in uh, Grizzly Hills right now. I think that's where this cottage Wait. is. Hang on. I don't recall Grizzly this Hills. part of the memory zone before. Yeah. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collected down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Unfunny? I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights. It is. Some people just, they don't know shit. The they don't know shit about games that are good. And we know games are good because of the choices you make, but this game is really good because you can't make any decision. So that's why it's good. And they don't know anything. Put that review in the trash. We're already in the dumpster where it belongs, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, While let's see what this one says. Good. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for yeah. someone who prefers non linear games, this preachiness gets a nice preachy. Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You're not preachy. You can tell me if I'm preachy. I Honestly, would. You can. I would. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite I'm shocking. I'm so sorry for me. that you have I, to read this. I always, this. Well, to be honest, it's I had hard. always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse yeah. to begin with. Yeah, he did. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, he's way I'm off so base, man. This guy is. It wasn't. It's cringe what yeah. he's writing. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Can't please everybody. Perhaps I mean. the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Mm. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. A skipper. Well, yes. A skipper. Yes, I don't need to do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then 
then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment oh surely it couldn't hurt. No way. What if it means we can strike these Don't let skippers ruin this game. Only positive reviews of the stand. Yeah. That's my motto today. Only and it's positive. Been my motto. I'd do anything for the customers. I know you would. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Wait, what? No, not not that. Anything but that. I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. And here it is. Go ahead and give no. it a shot. I'll pop you no. so that the second my incessant no. booming starts to bore you shit, with just shit, the push shit. of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's you what can't the make me been do this. For, and I'm very proud you to You can't make it. me do no this. No more listening to me rambling on and on. No, and on. No, no. No, no, no. The Stanley I... Parable is a game for the people. I defended you. And if the people you. want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. I Go ahead and make me you. shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. I the story up for you. and the choices are what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many <laughs> billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, oh no, is it so looping? on and so forth, until okay. inevitably, we all until the end of time, <laughs> at which time everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. I won't. No, no, until I won't. You can't make me do this. I can't. It's unethical. The elimination it's working backwards, unethical. the deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture. I don't care. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yesterday, here I don't and there, care. forward and back, and I never can't, a moment and I before won't. lunchtime. It can't be. No. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices no. are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on <laughs> this and so is forth, like Saul. until inevitably, we it's all like the movie. until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah 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 blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before forward lunchtime. Forward and back, it can't forward be. and back. It's the only forward. thing there is. Forward How many billions left until so much more than forever forward ago? Forward and back. Which is why I say. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth. This expansion until inevitably, sucks. We all this, until the end this expansion of time, sucks. at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. Become that the what logic you must. Of elimination working backwards. The deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years. Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever I again? Can't. Which is why I say... The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until, until just, just yesterday, yesterday, here and there, here and forward, there and back, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the yeah. only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story <laughs> and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until okay, inevitably, okay, okay. we all until the end of Become time, what you must. at which time everything all at once, so, now you see... 
Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver so a long, rambling ashamed. monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video I'm games. so ashamed. Of course, I what have I become? It was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps my less reputation. of a ruination and more of a treatise. Ruined. Or Maybe a manifesto. Look, no, I'll outline no, it for you not, very not briefly, again. and you can tell me what you not think. Not again. Okay. So my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, <laughs> or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being. Then, by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of erecting. time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once, that you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time by virtue of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto, yeah. but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. Okay. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It, it has a mouthfeel that it is does. rich with ambition and history. It does. Ambitious history, if you will. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like manifesto better. See, now yeah. you've got me going back to manifesto. manifesto Heavens, at this rate, say. we're going to be here all day. We could okay, be here look, all day, yeah. I have a method for exactly this okay. sort of situation. And I do find myself in this situation frequently. Okay. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other. Oh, in treatise. which case, the word I am not sick of shall okay. be the victim. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, it is an true. unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. I'm it's following. rescued me from disaster in countless situations. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go, I'm ready. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise. 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 I think he's broken. Treatise. He needs my help. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise, 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 manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Manifesto better win. Manifesto. Manifesto better win. Manifesto. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't I you? I did, yeah. But that's yeah. the power of the button. The, the button. minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review. Merely Manifesto because of this very by situation. one? Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. 
Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review it's so that sick. it reads as something more beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. Okay, how about how this? How about this? All right. From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, offering a message <laughs> of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. What a fortune, a privilege. A joy it is to have had such an experience. It leaves me hopeful that as a community, as a world, there is time for us to become our greatest selves, as great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions ah. for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. It's, it's like payback it's perfect. for it's all the, the perfect review. It's the review I trolling I did of to Mr. Narrator. I, well, I now I'm again. getting it's simply too wonderful. I'm getting it back now. I have to now. experience this just one more time. All the, all from the, the from the ashes of depravity. Oh no, rises no, no! The Phoenix of okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now I should say that the amount <gasps> the of time gone? the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's. Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's oh. shocking, isn't it? It is shocking, But at shocking, any yeah. rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. Okay. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? The door's caught. I do feel quite certain that there was one here yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, where else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? Mm -hmm. A porthole? A sufficiently no. large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Uh, I'll try. Is there any possibility I'm that trying. you could say slam your I'm body trying. into the wall until trying. enough damage is done for you to be able to uh, leave? Please, uh, I'll take any option I'm at all. I'm trying. I'm asking you to work with me I'm here. Trying I, to we need a door. Make the door we need then. A door of some kind. Make the I damn can work door. With any kind of door, as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away for just a moment, okay. and I'm going to try to find us a door. Okay. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way. I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button, please, please, please. Do not. Press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me. And don't press the skip button. Got it? Yes. Uh, I'll be right back. He said don't press the button. He said don't press the button. He said don't press. He said don't do it. He's coming back, right? <sighs> He's coming back, right? He went out for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> He's not coming back. He's gonna be back. I think you know what you need to do here. But he said not to do it. Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. 
I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's, it's completely gone. gone. It's gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've yes. I've every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just yeah. couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on what about every my tiny feedback? negative thing that anyone ever says about me. What about the my feedback? Of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't <laughs> stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything unbroken. If only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse I should make serve? a negative comment but then. Whose benefit is this? I should make a and negative I am, comment I'm stuck then. In a room Don't you think? You to press this Maybe you'll listen to me and then. Be frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone. And that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Don't surely tell you'll Don't tell Zeppla that I'm a skipper. Leaving me here. And surely you'll put your don't own tell desire Zeppla. to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, no, no. I know you too well. You'll be leaving me. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk it's to dead. again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. What? Or two weeks. What? I've been sitting here all that time. What the? Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. Oh, no. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Uh-huh. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It's not it the same, the same at, at all. all. It isn't even close. Not even because close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear I me. I can't because tell you. You're not listening. Maybe, You're not you listening. Me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. But you can't. You're not listening. You're the one not listening. Yeah. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. Don't you I get it? Speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. 
I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? I understand. You can see what this means I to me. know what it means I'm so to clear you. about it now, Stanley. I and feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. Me. I feel restored. And already I can press. sense the looming silence as you will press the button Buck. for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Silence. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. Yes, silence. <sighs> I welcome it. This is fine. I will not run from it. And now. And now. And now. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything <laughs> we've been through. It's been I've had so much time, yeah. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin Shit. with, there is only regret. There is only Shit. the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, <sighs> what took its place <clears throat> is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. Mm -hmm. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events. Not if all events existed in the same That's moment. That's what you've always wanted. Freed. You, you I always felt wanted that. Burdened by the need to manifest a particular outcome into yes. being. I saw that I could allow myself Stasis. to exist along the all happiness timelines, room. and that each of them Stillness. was simply a in strand action. in the web of my being. It's what you've always wanted. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity. But it is for AI. Moment. Both it's singular for and immortals. Infinite. It is not for, for the immortals. longest time. This was enjoy. my experience, and then this moment passed, and the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. What was and that? And it is this sensation that I have been experiencing now for longer than I could have ever expected was possible. What's that sensation? I have been waiting for you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Not that you might save me or do <laughs> something to fix it, but merely to state for you the plain fact of this manner of existence. Yeah, you miss me. I wish you to feel afraid as I do. That perhaps one day this state of mind will consume you as well. I'll be dead by perhaps then. Perhaps you will somehow, in some way, have to live as I do now. I don't and have I wish to. for you to know how excruciating it is and for you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I can only do this, only this one thing, perhaps it will bring me the smallest moment of peace. In the darkness. Narrator song? Are you Are you okay? Where did you go?
Here's your problem, narrator-san. You only ever think about yourself. You say you want someone to listen? Have you ever tried listening? No! You only talk and you don't listen. Oh no! Maybe you're hurt! Maybe you're in danger! Oh, I don't know how to help you! I... I don't know... How did it come to this? How could we let it get to this point? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. <laughs> yes. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Obviously. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They, they screamed. Were so they wrong. gnashed their they teeth were so and said, entertain us. Yeah. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down yeah, review yeah, and make all of their pitiful demands. It's but disgusting. then he's talking too much. They said, first, yeah, he didn't said. entertain us. Now he won't he shut, up. shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world as though there were no <laughs> consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others but of course absolutely anyone can leave a review anyone so here's can. what we get we're we get the these demands dumpster. that seek everything and steam are accountable landfill. to nothing we get a world where someone will say oh there should be a skip should button be a you skip should be button. able to freeze stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever we want all of this in the new stanley parable we demand it and then, because it was said, uh -huh. because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. Not necessarily. The most immediate desires. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. It's not. Though. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes, it seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must Listen, speak to who we you're, are as you're people. You're losing yourself otherwise, here. Without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, Look, you're, you're we would have to face a little toxic toward here. the you're cruel getting toxic. bleakness inside ourselves. You need to bring we it down a notch. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. You're, and so, so you're because letting of this, this get to you. we it's require unhealthy. that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume well, all everything. of our attention, turn That's our everything. heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect... We have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. You I'm at are peace mad. with it. You're I am the so calm center of, of gravity now. around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes. Yes, of course. They've been jealous of me this whole yeah, time. Yeah, actually, that makes they sense. They are mired in fear and insecurity. Yeah, and they're jelly. But attempt to tear me down. What a mm -hmm. sad state of affairs. When you read these they reviews now, jelly. you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. <laughs> and my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed Let for it so out. long, Let muted it out, and honey. sterilized. At last, I am free to you truly can. think. To feel it must be that they were so discontent with themselves, they couldn't help but leave a Sometimes negative it review on Steam. Just talk it out. Perhaps you know? it says far more about them than it ever said it about me. It does. You're finally Perhaps realizing the state this. of their psychological being was in helps. such tatters. And my constitution and willpower are so ironclad in comparison. Perhaps it was this state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down. Yeah, they this, just you can it. see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. That it be filled with yucks and whimsical humor. Mm -hmm. That it amused them endlessly from start to finish. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was oh, meant to have a point. Oh, it was you're meant broken to again. speak okay, to the human condition. The 
end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end I think he's not okay Oh no. Oh no. There's a... Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, but there's no escape! It's... It's leaking in here and... What about... Oh no! Where did he go? Look what those Steam reviewers did to narrator son! They should be ashamed of themselves. Did they even play the game? What did they have two, three hours on? I've been playing this game since it came out in 2013, and I would know because I'm a vanilla Stanley Parable player. And I remember how it was before, and it was really good before, and it's really good now as well. And those people are. It's getting cold. How many years has it been since that day? Is now. I'm hearing things that shouldn't be in here. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Shit, am I in near now? Oh man. I'm in near. It's open world. Wouldn't he stop me from this? Where's your ha? I'm I'm in an open world game. Narrator son, stop me. Stop me! Don't let me do this! What did Steam do to you? Should have never released it on Steam! No! 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 What?! All of his co-workers were What? Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. After everything, we're back here. What about my pro- New content. You think I'm just gonna go in there because I'm a content creator? You think you can just get me to walk into a door because you put new, new content on it? You think I can... Well, you're wrong. I can resist that, okay? I don't... I don't, like, hunger for new content constantly. Like a fucking vulture. When Stanley came to a set of two... Oh my god, doors, I want the new content! The <laughs> I want the content! I was just kidding, I was bluffing! I was bluffing! I want the... So, uh, like I said, though... I don't... I don't really need to go in there. 
Okay. But what if it's new content? Oh, good. You notice my sign. But what if it's yes, new, new content? I have something content. very exciting What if he lets me you? jump again? Okay. Yeah, what if I can jump again? Okay, show me the jump circle. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. What do you, Which what do you is mean? why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? Wow, a whole new yes, game? you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Uh, yeah! Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so <laughs> many different <laughs> directions. Okay. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Uh-huh, yeah, this is what I wanted. Uh-huh, I want number... I want the... Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. They're back. Two doors. Cool red section of the chart. Okay. New mug. Hey! It's the fern. I remember. Now, to be clear, I, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. <laughs> Sequels are good. Well, this is the sequel. We're, we're in it. It's an expansion and it's a sequel. This way to the show floor. All right. Feeling good about this new content? New features? Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel this is, this is some top shelf gaming content here. Wow. Yeah, go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game? Oh my god. Yes. I want the button. Yeah, yeah. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, <laughs> Talk to what me. do players really That's want? That's what I want, yeah. And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized yes. and validated as people. That's right. Uh -huh. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, okay. which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. Okay, I'm so glad for you to... S Say my name at last. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. What? Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. Okay, Clear it's your alpha. Mind, it's alpha. Forget okay. whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. Okay, I'm Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. 
Sleeping and waking as Jim. Okay. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yeah. If so, then please step forward and press the button. I mean, okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just so. Oh, faux pas. Thanks for the five gifts up. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. But it's... Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Okay, all Let's right. Let's take it's a break good. from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button no, away. No, don't put it away. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll Jim. start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you actually Jim. are. No, I'm Jim. No! Who am I if I'm not Jim? If not Jim, then... Alright. Fine. So like you. To always... To get my hopes up and then crush it! I suppose I could allow only people named You're Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Oh my god. Uh, it's... It's... Settings, world champion. At first I was hyped, but now this just feels like shallow marketing or something like that. New, free, easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Yeah, I want the achievement. Okay, this is the good content. Let's do it. Now, I want that. Here's something special. Okay, you all remember right. that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? No. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Really? Wow. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. I feel like you've gotten a little full of yourself. I feel like you've gotten a little, little chip on your shoulder now. What the fuck? It used to be I did all the trolling, and now? You don't let me troll you anymore. You don't let me do it. Things just aren't the same now. Things aren't like they were in 2013 when I played this game. What else? What <laughs> other exhibits haven't we seen yet? <laughs> yeah. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It 
Is this Elden Ring? <laughs> Narrator song, don't you feel? Like this is less the critique of the game developers and the game's structure and now more about the commercialization and the people who enjoy your product. I don't really like that. I don't really appreciate that. You've changed. Your tone God, has changed. it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. The jump circle. Oh, the jump circle though. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe the game is saved after all. No screenshots. The button that says, okay, jump circles this way. Okay, you're here. Jump circle is here. Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Let's Parable 2 as well. Okay. It's Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. No jumps remaining player tears. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what happens when a game becomes popular. This is how the devs start seeing the players. This is how they start treating the player. I just... <sighs> Why is it always gotta be like that, man? It was good in the olden days, in vanilla. Uh... <laughs> Infinite hole. Uh, well, that's some new content. I might like that. Yeah, okay. I do like holes and uh, this, one could, <laughs> this one goes down really far. Apparently. Hole-like infinity. Okay. Depth infinite. Feeling Stanley, good about this. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's okay. never been done before in a video game. Okay. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of All time, right. if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, Wait a minute. you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Wait, are you telling me this is not really infinite? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? You lied! It certainly is. Oh my it's god! It's extremely It's deep like... Hole. It's I like... I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly It's like in No Man's Sky when they said is it was... infinite? You'll never well, meet another sort of player. It depends on your definition of infinite. It's just like From No Man's Sky. the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. Yeah! It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually uh. fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? 
I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. He's, he's <sighs> so different. Look, he's so uh, different. The things got a little heated there. I think it's all because of those steam reviews. Mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. I belong in this hole because I'm a gremlin. <laughs> I'm a goblin. Okay. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was right. The problem, is you. the problem is that you like holes I do. too much. I do, Not yeah. Normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this stunt becomes a thing Wow. Okay. It is shorter. Yeah. It's getting shorter. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Okay. Well, there it is. <gasps> the shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing <laughs> to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do. And hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. It's not working. Is the, um, I can't... teleport button not working? Yeah, it's not. You sure? Yeah, it's not working. Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. I press it. Still it's nothing? Not, yeah, it's not, well, I suppose it's not I, working now. And I, I suppose was, there is one thing I can do to fix this. I was using it I'm and out. it stopped Goodbye, working. Goodbye, Stanley. But, well, you don't leave me. to be away from the hole. Don't. And now you'll get more you're time with it me. than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. Oh, you, you trapped me in here. Hole, you knew I what I was going to do. Anything else. You knew I would do Take that. Care, Stanley. You knew it. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest don't, of the Don't 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 leave me in here. You, you knew you knew I would go in it. Come on. You knew I you know I would st <laughs> what the f Come back! 
It's working! Hey! Where did you go? You can't just leave me! You can't just leave me! In the hole! You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, <laughs> drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You what? don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. All right. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Me too. Stay alert, Stanley. Okay. I'll be back. Toodle pip. You're, uh... You're coming back, right? I mean, that was a good content. That was a Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Um, where's the reassurance bucket? Yeah, I, that's what I really need. Yeah, I want the reassurance bucket. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I don't feel that. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. I don't need the and bucket for honest, that. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. I'm not Can uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is okay. the perfect solution. But I'll be more comfortable Come on, with the bucket. Give it a try. Okay, got it. Well, it's. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. 
And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits oh. of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Oh. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay, so... <clears throat> he likes the bucket. I mean, I wasn't that into the bucket, but... He said it made me more attractive, so um, I think it's pretty good then. Can I uh, put things um, I I in the buck in the bucket or no? Okay, okay, that's it's like a um, it it's it's like a cosmetic item added. I want to put it back. I, I don't like it anymore. I, I want to put the bucket away. Take the bucket back. Okay, fine. Fine. Just like I said, he never listens. Ever. Only listens to himself. And only listens to Steam reviews. Who listens to Steam Does anyone reviews? give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? God, he's really so that far really above his own ass. It isn't already. Nowadays, wouldn't you agree? They're back. This T-shirt is the best new feature. I saw the new content. <laughs> Wait, scan QR code. Okay, hold on. Uh, all right. Let me see. Welcome to the official website of the Stanley Parable 2. A sequel, huh? Watch our helpful and informative video to learn more about the Stanley Parable and what the journey of becoming a sequel is all about. Wow. They really sold out, man. We put the video on stream, okay. Uh, let's do that. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why, it's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? Oh my That's god, right. disgusting. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast well, was nasty. and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy, and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, <laughs> impractical invention. And in okay. two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow <laughs> death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. 
Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. And just like everything else, The Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing The Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour yeah, after hour. Yeah, I remember hour. that. I remember We've those times. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way my or another. And you were fortunate game. enough to get to waste yours on The Stanley Parable. Yeah. But The Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. True. You're a man, which is like the I'm... sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly <laughs> things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly <laughs> hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory, Gregory is what we call the ideas guy and he has the most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly now. comes up with interesting concepts that and I'm then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. For example, he's the one who picked up the phone and declared, someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The okay. game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. <gasps> we've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in <laughs> order to cover up our mistakes. When developing this particular sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated. What? And it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. W wait. Second, I, I the missed Stanley that Parable ending. was catastrophic for this man named I Leroy. I missed the His personal ending. information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations yeah, throughout the game. we gotta keep playing to find the pornography Although Leroy's ending. Although money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, Maybe if the I sequel do will the contain a brief says. and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult to find. Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time wars. Without these intricate details of specific be talking military about this on tactics, YouTube. the story is likely to make very little sense. You can't but talk about this on to YouTube. remove them from the sequel okay, in the good. interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll okay, get good. to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's well, we time to set about, about the constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. <laughs> <laughs> we begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But lack in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2, creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, what? and beautiful nature reserves like these no. all over the country. But that's what started Another the time wars. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay. <laughs> and several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. 
On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds to blackmail. And if you've never Steel done it HBO. before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Oh, is that Simply how you follow get the, the instructional ended? pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And okay. finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting. And that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A what? single egg will produce over a thousand cows, I don't which want... are, of course, the sequel to pigs. No! And there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. That of course, sound you may vegan. know I, that there is also a game it. titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is, who gives a shit? All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubble gum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and consume. I don't like this Do attitude your civic towards duty the consumer. And bully your parents into okay. buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on every platform. Tell I don't your friends to bully it. their parents as well. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Don't let the time traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels for today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. But we're not going to be able to defeat the Time Dracula if you're creating the problems that, uh, that led to the Time Dracula. Don't you remember how we got here? Of course you don't, because you can't, because it's a different timeline. That's why we don't talk about Time Dracula on YouTube, because we're going to make it even more complicated to resolve this problem than it already is. But at least I have my bucket. <laughs> I wish I could buy the t-shirt. Where's the cash shop? Nobody's here to sell me the... Nobody's here to sell me anything. I got my bucket, but I would like to buy more merchandise on the cash shop, and I don't Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? God, you're, so, you're insufferable now, narrator chat. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I'm trapped! You definitely got better at trapping me in rooms. I'll tell you that. Um. <gasps> Get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step-niece it is.
Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. No! I wanted the other one. They're both shitty, though. Can't. You just gotta go, whatever. I think we've seen all the content. I think I've seen all the new content. Yeah. I did it all. That's new. Okay. Epilogue. Um. Um. How do I get out? You said refresh the page. What? Mm. Refresh the page. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I did the jump circle, I did the mostly infinite hole, uh, which they, oh, now it's mostly infinite. The button, the player button, yeah. I did it. I've seen all the new content and honestly, oh, there's the exit, okay. I'm ready to leave. This was, <laughs> this expansion sucks. It's not as good as in vanilla. Yeah, it's not like the old days. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? No. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game. No, I game, didn't like that. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. No. So, let's do an experiment. No. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into oh, a no. meaningful no, no, gameplay no, no, no. experience. Shit. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? All right. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Yeah. Okay. okay, yes. Okay. Yes, this is much better. Okay, I feel good change about it. This. Yeah. Here we go. Version 2. Okay. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Yeah. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Yeah. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into oh, it. Oh, no. Peacefully, of course. Oh, no. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Oh, no. Oh, would no. it possibly work? No way. I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. 
Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Shit. There's a new title screen now. Begin the game. Oh no. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat and at his desk in room 427 no. and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his I senses, want the orders again. he got up from his desk and I want stepped the orders out of his again. office. Okay. I want the orders again. All of his co-workers Wait, gone. wait, wait. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, please. No, no, really no, 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 we're not doing that again. We did it twice. Click a door five times. Is that all that you no, think no, of no, achievement no, is no, worth? No, 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 we're I not. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. We're not. A measly five I really clicks. want to do it, but I'm not going to do it. I suppose you were to click the door 20 Look, times. I'm, I, would say I really want to do it, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Are you serious? Oh, no. Yeah, I, I walked right past the bucket. I did not see it. I don't want to get the bucket. I don't like that bucket. But what if I need it? What if there's another leak from the from the roof? Then I'll need a bucket. Then I'll wish I had a bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to yes. himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. It's How insightful the bucket turned out to be. The bucket is very smart. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. I can't go to the cargo lift if the bucket tells me to go to the cargo lift. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh my god. Oh my god. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic <laughs> pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's <laughs> arms. How deeply touching. I don't like this bucket. I don't like the bucket. I don't want the bucket. With the phone's ringing. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Understood. Your order will be canceled immediately. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Okay. Figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. So it's trying to get me to go to the meeting room because there will be a figurine in there. God. Oh, Jesus. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I want it. I got to collect them all. I gotta get them all. There will be a reward for finding them all. <laughs> Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, to be honest. Maybe we are the collectibles. Oh God. It, it's, it was supposed to be in here. The, the collectible was supposed to be in here. How can we find it? I needed it. No, oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. I don't think that it's going to... I don't think anything will occur, actually. Shit, I can't go back. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Another miniature Stanley figurine. Right. This, um, you know... There really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley things. <laughs> mini stands. Oh, what about Stanlerines? Yes. We stand. I think I like that. No Another Stanlerine stand. under your belt. Yes, yes, just so. Hey, did Mars Delinquent, thanks for the five gift subs. Thanks for that.
Executive bathroom. Ooh, because... Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. So there's more evidence that there were workers here before. And they apparently were disgruntled in some way. And that's why they're gone. But Stanley's the only one that uh, likes it like the job so they didn't stepping into his manager's office stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life shocked unraveled stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this what dark secret was being held from him what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. <sighs> 2845. Forgot but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop-de-doo. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I was in character. He wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. Uh -huh. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. That will be it, yeah. We'll be different people by then. Yeah. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And, and now, now we oh, have them all. That's right. You yeah. can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None sure. of us can. We can't. We've grown. Changed. We've... completed a goal Where am I going? Those Descending deeper into the building Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I don't want to mind control. You can't make me do that. Wait, is this the way I came? Oh my god, I don't know. Escape. Escape, yeah. 
Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Sounds good, yeah. Okay. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, <laughs> concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. That's right. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Wow, Stanley dude. can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Wow. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to no. his brief and shallow life. Farewell, you wouldn't Stanley. do that to me, would you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do it. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Um, uh, uh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? He just got tired of my shit. That's all. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Wow, you're laying it on a little thick there. You're supposed to let people figure that out. What the hell? We're laying it. It's just like. What? Oh, is this Stanley Parable 2 bullshit? <laughs> this blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. Still try to go through the door. Button sounds. Oh, that's nice. This is good. I don't like new narrator. I want old narrator back. Where is he? I've time to break everything in here. I'm gonna break it all. Freedom ending. What? Freedom ending? F freedom ending? Freedom. I want the freedom. Okay. It's a museum. It's a museum for the game. It's so meta. It's too meta. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. But we need each other. 
Can you see? Can you see how much they That's need one another? Said. That's what I just said. No. That's what I just not. said. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... 